I've been wanting to do some segmented wood turning and it was time to do an ornament. So I combined the two. I'd like to do some segmented turning that represents an image and it's more than just a pattern. So I thought I could do a Christmas tree on the ornament because I can draw a Christmas tree with geometric shapes. In building this I'm going to make it in layers. So I'll make four tree layers and they will be made of a piece of purple heart in the center flanked by a piece of holly on each side and that will make this the, the body of the tree and under the tree I'll make a trunk which would be a piece of brown wood flanked by holly on each side and then a piece of ground which will be that same brown wood and then a decorative piece at the bottom at the top I'll use a piece of holly to be a bit of sky above the tree with another decorative piece of holly above and this will also allow me to hang hang the piece the purple heart will actually be two I think I'll make it where I'll make each half and then I'll put them together to make a symmetrical piece in the middle let's get started so I decided I'd use a piece of holly that I've had sitting around the shop for a while because it's a really light colored wood and I'd use that for the sky and then I'd use purple heart just because it has color for the tree and some brown tropical hardwood that I have that I don't know what it is but it's been sitting here in the shop for a while but it's a nice light brown color and it'll work for the trunk and the ground. I'll start by cleaning up my piece of holly and piece of purple heart and get them to a half inch thickness which will be the thickness for each layer within the segmented piece. First I'll edge joint and face joint both the holly and the purple heart and then I'll plane them down to a half an inch. And then I did a more technical drawing and decided I needed a 50 degree angle for the sides of the Christmas tree. So I'll cut a 50 degree angle into both the holly and the purple heart. Then I'll cut those to a shorter length and I'm going to make each of the levels within the segmented piece. So now I have the top level, the second level, the third level, and the fourth level. Now I'll cut these in half and basically book match them and turn them around so that the purple heart is in the middle and makes a level of the Christmas tree. So you can see how they go together here. Then I'll glue each one of these levels together. And really the outside doesn't need to be precise. It's only those joints that matter. and need to be nice and tight and have no pockets or gaps or extra glue or anything. So now everything's done drawing. And you can see how they stack up nicely. The next step is to glue all of these together. So I have to remove the glue that squeezed out and I have to get the boards absolutely flat. So now the joint between each level has to be perfect. And I get a nice, perfectly even layer of glue between each, each joint. And again, the outside and the ends completely don't matter. It's only the joint between the levels that matters. And also getting them nicely lined up. So I'm doing a lot of checking and rechecking and they're sliding around and really some sort of jig to hold them in place would help, but, but this works okay. And everything looks good. Now everything's dry. Now I can clean up the outside of this shape. Cut the two sides off. I had to make a sled for the table saw, which I've been meaning to do. It's very useful, but it helps in cutting these little pieces. So I can cut this sausage now into a bunch of a bunch of pieces. So I have very precise blocks now. And I actually did better than I thought I was going to with all these little pieces and the gaps between the pieces of wood. So here I'll mark the angles that I want to cut. So if I'm going to make this a four-sided piece, I need to have a 45 degree miter on each side. So I made a jig that fits within my sled, 
that holds the little piece at a 45 degree angle. So my, my fingers aren't getting too close to the blade and it worked really well. And they fit together nicely. So you can see how they go together here. I did a little stop motion. Now I couldn't figure out how I was going to clamp these because they're at a 45 degree angle. So I just glued them and held them with my hands until they were set up enough that I didn't have to hold them, which really wasn't very long, maybe five, 10 minutes. Then I sanded each half. So then that those each half fits together. So my miter doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I can sand out the difference between gluing the two halves together. Now the main tree section is done and what I want to make now is another level that's the trunk for the tree. So it's just going to be two pieces of holly with a piece of this brown hardwood in between and then I'll go through the same process again. I should have probably done this all at once but I was kind of making this up as I went. So, so I'll cut out four sections and then I used my mitering jig again but I had to cut a little block of wood so that I could hold the thinner piece. But that worked just fine. And that went together nicely. And then the same process with gluing and sanding and then gluing and then getting a little square. I also made a similar piece for the top that I thought of as the sky. So it didn't have any pattern in it. You can see it there to the right. Then I used a parallel clamp to put the whole thing together. And that came out nice and tight. Now I'll sand the top and bottom to the main body and one of the surfaces to the trunk piece and one to the, to the sky piece. And then we'll glue, glue the trunk on so you can see how that works now. And then now the trunk is dry and we'll glue the sky piece on. Now I'd like to cut off the corners before I start wood turning this. Because uh, it's steps, I'm going to cut out a little circle so I can use that as a template to draw the, that circle onto the top of the, the piece. So I'm just marking where I'm going to cut. And then I can just go on the bandsaw and cut the corners off. Now before I started to turn, I was a little nervous about the three different kinds of wood and whether I was going to get them to play together on the lathe but it actually worked out pretty well. It didn't, they didn't ship between the two different woods it actually worked pretty well. And I just turned slow and carefully. I haven't done much work at this size. I'm usually doing things bigger than this and I haven't done too much. I haven't done a whole lot of fully segmented pieces so this is a little bit new for me. I also haven't tried to turn a sphere. I really should make a sphere cutting jig, but I was just doing this freehand, so it's pretty close. I really like how I got a, a positive purple tree and then a negative white tree between the trees. It's a nice positive negative pattern that turned out. I hadn't, I hadn't really thought that was going to, I hadn't even realized that was going to happen and it worked out really well. And it looks a little bit like a turn up when it's spinning. Nice. So I have the main body done. And I have a little tab for a top and a bottom. So now I'll make the bottom, which I guess is called a finial. <laughs> or at least that's what I've heard, but that's basically what I'm making. Trying to figure out which size tool rest to put in. It's more of that brown hardwood that I have, and I'm not sure what it is. It turns really nicely. It has a very dense green. And I'll just cut this off and the diameter should work out with the diameter on the main body of the ornament. 
and then this is the top made a little piece for the top and I ended up turning it basically backwards and it fell off and got all scraped up so I started over again made a second one this time I did it right it gives me a place to drill a hole so I can run a ribbon through it and hang hang the whole piece now I'll just put the ribbon through and I, I glued the top and the bottom on just by holding it in my hands because there's just no way to clamp it that seemed to work fine and now I'll just thread the ribbon through and there we have it actually it came out pretty well I was pretty nervous on this project I was doing a lot of things I hadn't done before but it came out pretty nice And he put red because red's kind of in Christ and Christmas trees on it. Christmas trees upside down. And she's right side up. Really special because um, Daddy made this for us and it's the only one we have. So when you look at it this way, it looks like a wand. Merry Christmas!